In this video, we're going to talk about some math problems that the style of which you will see on the SAT math portion. So we're just going to take some time and just do a few problems. Here's the first problem. And what I would suggest is that you pause the video right now, try to work it on your own, then come back and we'll go over the solution. Okay, so we've got a problem here that says if five over a minus b equals two, and if a equals four, then what is the value of b? Okay, so different ways we could go about this, but if we start with the five over a minus b, and if we write two as two over one, then we can do some cross multiplying. We can do five times one is five, and then two times the quantity a minus b. Now we want to distribute that two, so we get two a minus two b equals five. And now they already tell us that a equals four, so we can type in or put in a four for a. This becomes five equals eight minus two B. Subtract eight from both sides. So I end up with negative three equals negative two B. Divide by negative two. This becomes three over two equals B. And notice the answers are all in decimal. So we're gonna convert three over two to a decimal, which is 1.5. So the answer is A, 1.5. Okay, let's go to the next problem. Which of the following statements is true concerning the equation below? And let's underline is true. That means that three of these solutions or three of the answers are false and only one of them is true. So we want to determine, does the equation have no solutions, one positive solution, one negative solution, or infinitely many solutions? So let's take a look at this. Two parentheses x minus five equals two x minus five. And what that parentheses tells me is that I need to distribute the two to this expression. So we have two x, minus, and then two times five is 10, equals two x minus five. So we've got to subtract the two x from both sides. Usually we end up with an x left over on one of the sides, but in this case, both the x's cancel each other out and we're left with negative 10 equals negative five. And we know that that can never be true so that means there are no solutions. If we'd gotten uh, something to like, let's say we had uh, 12 equal to 12, then that's always gonna be true. So there are infinitely many solutions. Okay, so the answer to this one was A. And the third question here, if you'll just pause the video now and give it a try and then come back, take a look at it. Okay, small juice can contain six ounces of juice. How many quarts of juice are in a carton that contains 24 small can? So we're dealing with quarts here and each can has six ounces. And there's a carton that has 24 cans. Okay, so that means if it's six ounces per can, and there's 24 cans, doing a unit analysis, this is like 24 over one, so the cans cancel, and we're left with 144 ounces. 
we want to know how many quarts that is. So to convert to quarts, we're going to multiply by 30 or one quart per 32 ounces. So that now the ounces will cancel and it's going to be 144 divided by 32, which is 4.5. You can verify that by just multiplying it out. This would be in the non-calculator type question. So you would, if you needed to divide it out, you could. Or if you didn't feel confident in that you would make a mistake doing that, then just figure out what goes into the top and the bottom. You could even say, well, I know eight goes into this, so that makes this four. Eight goes into this, which makes it 18. And then 18 over four is just nine over two, four over five. C is the answer. So that's just a few SAT type math questions. We'll have some more in another video. Please hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more and ring the bell to be notified. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you in another video.